before the video starts make sure to like and subscribe also click the bell notification so you can see my uploads first So, Robert Pattinson is the new Batman, apparently. This news broke a couple hours ago. Um, it's, like, kind of confusing, though, because apparently he's on, like, a short list. But then there's sites like Variety, you know... Headline, Robert Pattinson. Wait, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. Oh, hello. Not what I want to do. Right, let me pull it up. There we go. Let's see, uh, Robert Pattinson to play the new Batman for Matt Reeves and Warner Brothers. Exclusive. He's going from sex symbol to bat symbol. Sources tell Variety that Robert Pattinson is in negotiations to play the Batman in Matt Reeves' forthcoming superhero film, which hits theaters June 25, 2021. While sources say it's not yet a done deal, Pattinson is the top choice and is expected to close shortly. Warner Brothers has no comment. Okay. I mean, I I'll tell you what I think about this after we read this article. How long is it? Not too long. Wait, no, no, no need that. <sighs> okay, pre-production on the Warner Brothers DC Comics pick is expected to start this summer. Reeves, the filmmaker behind the last two Planet of the Apes sequels, which were really good, assumed Batman directing duties from Ben Affleck in January 2017 and has been developing the exclusive project ever since. Affleck and Warner Brothers began discussing the actor and director leaving the Cape Crusader behind following Justice League, allowing Reeves to pick up his own Bruce Wayne. Reeves will produce the Batman with his Planet of the Apes collaborator Dylan Clark. Pattinson was cast as Reeves continues to polish a final version of the script. I, blah, blah. I don't know if I want to read all this. We, we get the gist, you know. Let's see here. Pattinson's about to shoot another film for Warner Brothers. Chris, oh yeah, I heard about him being in the Christopher Nolan movie, co-starring John Dave Washington. That should be good. Both good actors. That's like I say right now. Uh, Robert Pattinson is a good actor, but especially in his more recent films. That's what I've heard at least. I can't really say I've seen his most recent films. I just heard he's been good. So from trusted sources, you know, like people I watch, I, I trust their opinion. I was just trying to look at his filmography here and obviously he's well known for Twilight, but he was also in Harry Potter or Cedric Duggery. He was pretty good in that. But, you know, mostly known for being Edward Cullen and Twilight Saga. Right? Um, then he was in The Rover, which is apparently he was really good in there. He's been in a lot of other films that I really can't I can't deny I have I haven't seen any of these. The one movie I did want to see was Good Time. I heard it was like bonkers crazy. Still have to watch it. But all right, as far as my oh jeez, I mean, we don't even need that. As far as my um the hell <laughs> wrong wrong Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm just I'm just. Whatever. Anyway, um, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It, it, the intentional reaction for me was like, "What?" Because you know, I don't know. Just I could. As soon as I heard, I saw the name. I was like, I already figured people were gonna be negative about it because it's like, oh, you getting a guy from Twilight? You getting a vampire to, to you know to be Batman? You know. But the guy's a good actor. He looks the part. You know, he's a he looks like a, a billionaire 
playboy. You know, he, he fits the Bruce Wayne, a, a, a younger Bruce Wayne, that's for sure. Like, I think this Batman will probably be like a year one Batman. At least a year two, maybe. You know? <sighs> yeah. I'm fine with it. Bring it on. Robert Pattinson, sure. There was someone else in line. Let me check real quick. There was someone, yeah, this guy, Nicholas Holt. Which, uh, I like Nicholas Holt, but I don't see him as Batman. I see Robert Pattinson more as Batman. I really do. Hmm. It's, it's, he might be the youngest Batman yet, right? Oh, that's Christian Bale. Was he younger? I don't think so. 6'1". Not bad. Decent height. A lot of people say Ben Affleck was the best Batman. I disagree. So if you think Ben Affleck is the best Batman, I I don't disagree with you. I don't... I do disagree with you. I, I, I do disagree with you, but I don't hate your opinion if you think that Ben Affleck was the best Batman, but I just don't. He was fine, but he wasn't the best. Christian Bale was the best. Christian Bale was the great Bruce Wayne, great Batman for three movies. Ben Affleck was in three movies as well, but Suicide Squad, if you, if you count Suicide Squad, he's in BVS, Justice League. Yeah. He was all right. Most intimidating Batman. I'll give him that. You know, what I'm saying like the the fight scene with with uh, Ben Affleck in the um, uh, warehouse in BVS was fantastic. I, for sure, that was like straight out of Arkham. You know, but yeah, I don't know what else really to say about this except okay. I'm gonna start looking at other people's opinions and reactions and whatnot. You know. We got Collider up, uh, brought up here right now. Let me see if I can bring it up. Yeah, guys, see, you got uh, John Roca and um, damn, I can't believe it. Perry number off. There we go. <laughs> I love Perry. She's so fucking cute. <laughs> and John, I like John Roca too. I used to like when uh, he used to do the um, schmoe down. I don't know if he's still doing the schmoe down or not. You know, well, he used to be like the you know the bad guy, the heel. You know, I, I used to love watching that. I don't really watch. Uh, I don't really watch the Smoke Down anymore. I just stopped. Anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling on now. Just, what the hell? Oh my god! Get off the screen, Jesus Christ! <laughs> anyway, Robert Pattinson, Batman. Hurrah! Good, good on you, buddy. Good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> it's like the Batman role is cursed, except for Christian Bale. Christian Bale killed it, but every other Batman. The rose has been cursed. So good luck. 